Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. I'm Zemo, the dad in DPS, and we are back once again for The Good, The Scrap, and The Scrap, a series where I review weapons I've found or made in Appalachia and seeing if they cut the mustard. And today's weapon is a very powerful one that annoys a lot of people, and we made it the other night. Either way, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So, today's weapon is Omaiwa Mo Shinderu. You're already dead. Now this is an instigating, damage while aiming, one agility uh, cremator that I made the other night that we have named. And it is an absolute beast of what it does. Now, if you don't know how the cremator's burn damage affects, well, is affected rather by the damaging effects that are on here, this is basically the best combination to get the most out of that first single shot in damage. And a lot of times the cremator is going to kill most enemies when you hit them. This is going to guarantee it in a lot of cases. This is an absolute beast of weapon. And when the next patch comes in, I'm going to change that agility for something a bit more fun. Maybe even some strength, maybe some uh, intelligence, or maybe, maybe just flat out increase it to something that makes me... Uh, reload quicker i really don't know i really don't know but this is one of the best weapons that i can get and because it isn't tradable changing it is just going to be absolutely fun and easy and yeah let's get to showing the build and testing this baby out so this is the build i'm currently using it's not optimized for damage we are literally just testing this out i'm using just my general utility build but there is some damaging stuff in there that will help this weapon but it doesn't need it and you'll see that in a second but this is what we're currently using so you know why the damage is the reason the damage is <laughs> basically so let's start off this video by saying that the cremator this cremator is not an insta kill weapon in most cases now if i hit that enemy dead on you can see the burn damage can be quite significant um it's taken him down and he's just dying as he is some enemies will take bigger hits from the initial blast than others, but the whole point of this weapon is to kind of point at them and just let the burn deal with them. Ignore most enemies and run off away from them. They'll eventually die from the burn damage, so that's the main point of this. Some enemies, you'll get some good hits in, like a bunch of headshots, and it'll take them down quicker, but the general gist of this weapon is spray it and move away. Just don't think about what you've done to the enemies after the fact. Just shoot at them and then walk away. Some enemies will survive, some enemies won't. You know, you, the whole point of this is to to fire and not really care about it. This is what kind of makes the cremator really good at events. It's because you can sort of fire it into a crowd, get a bunch of damage off, you know, tag enemies and therefore get XP. It also is what makes it really annoying in events because... A lot of people then have the problem with you know everybody's firing fire everywhere you can't see things it's very annoying and there is mods for that to reduce the the look of the flames but yeah the, the fire is very annoying for a lot of people so but you're, as you're seeing like we're killing everything but everything is not going down when i shoot it it's going down after the fact like i i haven't seen many enemies die here and then when we come to it i can just loot them all in one go you know like the things that have survived are the things that i haven't shot and the other factor is this is a weapon that you know if you shoot into yourself is going to hurt like a mofo it is not something you want to use at close range so this is kind of the worst example of where to use it and that's kind of the reason why i'm using it here so you can see the downsides of it now i've killed a load of enemies through this wall earlier and that's me just looting them now and seeing this guy he must have been missed in the initial blast the guy downstairs is hit and you're seeing he's going down pretty damn quick he's dead fell over there i didn't even like aim that time but it's already dead like this is this is the the literal point of this weapon you do not focus on using damage with it now Granted, there's probably versions of the weapon where you can do this, and I have the anti-armor one that I rolled the other night that I'm tempted to see if I can make like a, a single damage like burst uh, cremator, which I would be really eager to try out. But with this current version of it, this is just like a shoot them and walk away and deal with the consequences of your actions later on. And it works really well. It's got the most damage that I can physically get out of this weapon in the one go. And when you're on your own, that works out. When you're with uh, other players, you're kind of going to want to opt for a bloodied or an aristocrat's version of this instead. 
Now, like most of these videos, we come to Jeff. Now, the thing about this weapon is, again, it's not really suited for killing big targets. Um, you can see we hit him with this, and we're going to look and see how much it kind of whittles him down to. It's just not designed for that quick murder of big targets. And this is the kind of downside of cremators in general. Um, the burn damage against an enemy with superior health isn't the best. Um, and it is kind of what it is. Like, it's about proliferating that, um, that damage that you can get on there. It's about spreading it as far as you can. Because, I mean, I fire the multi-barrel and it hits multiple enemies. Um, but with this, it's just not as as good as it is with other things. Um, this is just, like, fire it, do some damage. Fire it, do some damage. It's better against groups than it is against him. And you can see we've crippled him, which is all fine and well. This is a good weapon for crippling him. Crippling him. But when it comes to this, I, I would say that you're better off just spam-shotting it against regular enemies. This is the kind of weapon that is good in theory, but not quite in in the application of it against bigger targets. It's just, on its own, not that amazing against Jeff. Now again, my thought process is this is not a weapon designed to kill big targets. This is a, a weapon designed to deal with smaller targets or to use in tandem with multiple other cremators. But it would be completely remiss of me to not show you Oh, I completely missed that shot. It would be completely remiss for me not to show you how it works against your average enemy. How it works against Mirelux, how it works against um, everything else. Because this is the point of it, it's for this, for this circumstance, where you're trying to kill like a lot of enemies together. It's not for big targets, it's not for bosses um, on its own. When you use it with the, the fact that all the cremators with different effects stack, and provide different burn damage, then it is one that works really well. And you're seeing, like, from the initial hit, it is doing actually a lot of damage, but it's going to continue to then do basically a significant less amount of damage every time you use it. And at that point, your best way of using it against something like the Marlar Queen is to just spam her legs. Like, this is a weapon that can be used in general senses, but it's just not very good at doing the big targets on its own. It really just isn't. And this is something that you're going to want to use with another cremator, like for example we've got Eskinor here, we fire him in, and we've got both of their burns slowly ticking down the enemy. And it is just a case of you have to wait for it to do its full damage. It's a weapon that in theory works really really well against big targets because you're doing more damage. As you can see, the result is that you just kind of have to wait it out and deal with it that way. And as usual, we take to Atlantic City and Expeditions for the last portion of this video, showing how it does in this setting. Now, one thing I'll say is this weapon is absolutely and utterly devastating to the... the, um, the overgrown. It completely annihilates them. Enemies in here just disintegrate at any form of damage over time and as a result it means that this weapon is very good at farming your your ammo back in this scenario like literally i can just get all of these overgrown together and they just instantly instantly die i mean the only one that didn't die is one that was hiding and i missed him again somehow um but you're seeing two shots three shots and I'm getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, probably more than 10 worth of that ammo back. It, it, it's basically absolutely just insane for expeditions and just general use in here. Um, this is the thing about this weapon. It is the trash killer king when it comes to if you are the first person to hit them. So it's good in solo use against just general enemies 
it's not good against the big ones it's not good against the the biggest most powerful enemies you know if you have a large number of enemies that you can shoot and run away from and then go after some more this will kill them in the greatest way and easiest manner possible spray and truly pray and is the in the greatest sense of the words and in expeditions yeah you're getting your ammo back like literally i barely graze that guy and he's dead like i don't even need to use the aiming and that thing dies immediately like it is so good at what it's meant for in this sense and that is instantly killing these enemies with massive amounts of dots like we just fire it in there gone <laughs> like you're, you're seeing the true strength of this weapon and what it can really do if you want to manually aim it great if you want to not manually aim it great it can work in both factors but against bigger tankier targets it just doesn't do what it needs to do and this is like not every weapon should and is the best at every single aspect but i quite enjoy it regardless now that was today's weapon and when it comes to my weapon reviews i'm rather pragmatic i, I like to give you all the information and give you the upsides and downsides and this weapon does have some glaring and massive downsides as all cremators do against bosses it's not particularly great unless you are using the the glitch i don't know if it is a glitch where you can swap between like 12 different cremators launch one shot from each and then the burn tech damage stacks for all of them if you're not doing that, this weapon is not incredibly good at large targets. But against small targets, this thing completely annihilates them. You shoot it and then you run away and then come back later and they're all dead. Like, not a lot of things will survive the initial hit from this and the burn ticking damage. So as a result, it's just a fantastic weapon for expeditions and it will make going through here very easy. Your ammo efficiency, very good, um, especially if you're doing it solo. And even then, if you're not doing it slow, other people are killing stuff, so then you don't need to worry about ammo efficiency in the, the grand scheme of things. Either way, I think it's a great weapon, and I would heavily recommend you get a version of it, because it's going to help you do things like this in solo sense. And if you've enjoyed this video, as usual, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. If there's any future videos you would like me to make, leave that down in the comments below. And I'll catch you all next time in the Wasteland. Through the dark Moonlight's dimly shadowed, a shadow creeping. Feel your heart entwining, a twisted mind, seeking prey to devour. In the dead of the night, he gains more power. His bloodshot. Sound chasing shadows, hunting to